Tonight, one of the smartest species inhabiting the marine world is at the center of a global ethical debate. Scientists are alarmed by a plan to build the world's first octopus farm. Some here in Canada are even calling for an outright ban. CTV's BC Bureau Chief Melanie Nagy reports. An octopus grabs a small video camera and plays with it while it records. The species is clever and captivating. It's also the focus of an intense debate over whether or not it should be commercially farmed. People are deeply concerned. Camille Labchuk heads Animal Justice, which has joined forces with global animal rights groups working to stop a Spanish company from opening the world's first industrial scale farm. Which essentially involving imprisoning these highly in intelligent, sensitive, complex animals in tiny enclosures to grow them to market weight so they can then be slaughtered. Currently, the soft body cephalopods are caught in the wild using pots and traps. Previous attempts to farm them haven't been successful. Biologists say their solitary nature makes them unfit for aquaculture. When you want an animal to be um, raised for farming, you want them, you want a lot of them in a relatively small place. Um, and so you can't really keep them happy together. Nueva Pescanova, the company behind the latest endeavor, claims its techniques are humane. One company director also says the 3,000 tons of meat produced will help meet growing demand for octopus, considered a luxury item in some countries. We don't know where an octopus farm, if it was to come to Canada, where it would start. Melissa Spears is with the BCSPCA, which is backing a petition sponsored by the Green Party's Elizabeth May. It calls for a ban on the practice and importation of farmed products. Products. These animals are sentient, they can think, they can feel, they can experience pain. There are reports Canada's Cook Seafood is negotiating with Pescanova, but when CTV News asked about a deal, neither company would comment. Currently, there are no public proposals to build a farm in Canada. As for the Spanish one, it must clear several regulatory hurdles before opening. Melanie Nagy, CTV News, Vancouver.